Hello fellow YouTubers, how are you doing? Today is a, uh, what is it? Tuesday, July 10th? I don't, I never know, I get all my days mixed up. Uh, I know, I know tomorrow is the 11th, which is my roommate's birthday, which is pretty cool. Woohoo! Yeah, he's gonna be old, he's gonna be 24. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I'm 25. Um, yeah, that's neither here or there. Uh, this is Harry Otter. Harry Otter. So, hi, Harry. It's right there. Yeah, whatever. Just sit there and look pretty. Uh, yeah. So, I thought I'd give you an update on what's going on recently. Um, the job search has not been going very well. I've been applying to many different places, um, but I'm not getting any response back from any of them. I mean, really? Am I that undesirable that I don't even deserve a phone call saying, we don't like you? Maybe that's too much of a waste of time, I guess. If they don't like me, I guess, uh, they just won't call me back. Yeah. This music is very distracting, but I like it because it makes me happy and I want to dance. Okay. So yeah. So um, I recently applied to Barnes and Noble uh, last week, and I've always been trying to get into that place, but they all seem very. I'm an English major, and and uh, I'm very complicated and stoic. And I'm sorry, you don't even know what the word stoic means. Never mind. And but I mean, they look like nice guys, but when you talk to them, they act like that you don't know anything about music, books, or anything like that. I know they're all bitter, jaded English majors, knowing that they can't do anything with their degree, so they're at a bookstore. Yeah. Which is why I want to work there, because I'm also an English major that can't do anything with this degree. Woo! But, uh, yeah. Each time I go in there to apply, they're never hiring. No, they always give you that patented, no, we're not hiring right now, but we're always accepting applications. And I always think it's a waste of time to go in there and fill out, fill out an application, especially if they're not going to call me. I hate that. But I went in there, and they are actually hiring this time. And so, like, excellent. I went in there, and I filled out my application, and I handed it back to them. I also gave them my resume and let them know that I have bookstore experience. I didn't tell them that I worked two weeks at a bookstore, but whatever. Um, it looks good on the resume, especially since I'm trying to apply at the bookstore. And so I fill out the hours that I want to work, which isn't much. Uh, nine to five, don't want to work on weekends, but I'll work on Saturday if I have to. Ooh, he's cute. Anyway, um, yeah. And so I give it to the, the girl there, and she's like, oh yeah, I want to let you know that we're really looking for weekend availability, and we would love it if you could work weekends, uh, especially Sundays. So I'm like, ah, okay, okay, I'll work Sundays. You know, just anything that will get me in the door, I'll do whatever they want. I'll go in with bells on, I will belly dance, I'll freak dance, whatever they want me to do that involves dancing, I will do it as long as it gets me the job. Um, I used to be a private dancer, but I don't think I can do that in uh, Barnes Noble. That would be very interesting, though. Yes, yes, it would. Uh, what else? So I said that I would be able to work on Sunday, and that was also good. But unfortunately, they weren't hiring for the actual bookstore itself. They're hiring for the cafe, the Starbucks that's attached to it. And I really don't want to do that, but if it gets me a job, why the hell not? You know? Why the hell not? So, I haven't heard from them yet, but hopefully, hopefully I will. I hope so. 
because I'd really like to work at a bookstore. I, I'd feel right at home there with a bunch of snobby English majors going, talking about the, uh, the story tropes of Jane Eyre and which Bronte was better. The one whoever wrote Jane Eyre, that's the good one. Whoever wrote Wuthering Heights, not the good one. And there's a third one. I forgot what her name is, but whatever. Um, so, also, also, um, I've been recommended to apply at the San Diego Wildlife Park, Wild Animal Park, I think that's what it is, and does an acting gig, a paid acting gig, mind you, which is very rare in San Diego. And I was talking to my roommate about it. One of the shows that I did previous, uh, like sometime a, a year or two ago, um, I worked with a woman named Ellen in the play, and she worked at the Wildlife Museum or Animal Park, whatever the fuck it is. And she does these guided tours where she dresses up as certain characters, and and as this character as a certain part of a park, she will give this guided tour and this kind of outfit. I don't know what it was exactly that she did, but she was acting and getting paid for it, which was awesome. And she recommended me because the Wildlife Museum or Wildlife Park, I can never get that right. Anyway, they're hiring and they're specifically looking for black actors or people of color. And and naturally, my name came up because I seem to be the only person of color in the entire county. That's good at acting. So they recommended me, and I called a person who told me to call another person, and I have an audition at 2.30 today. And my roommate and I were joking because they he was like, uh, we were conspiring or thinking about what role they would want me to play. I'm like, I bet you I'm going to be some Zulu African guy shaking a spear at people because they might have something to do with Africa. And yeah, I'm come to see my show, I'll shake a spear at you. And when I mean shake a spear, I mean I will be quoting Hamlet. Actually, I will be doing that for my audition. I'll be quoting Hamlet. I like shiny things. Um. Yeah, I will be quoting Hamlet in my audition because it's about a guy who hates Hamlet but had to play Hamlet and bombed significantly. So yeah, that's going to be amazing. So anyway, I talked to the guy, uh, his name is Randall, I believe, who's going to be conducting the audition slash interview, and we were right. It's going to be for an African-based show. I'm like, oh my god. But I'm hoping that I'm going to be the black tour guide with the pith helmet and the khakis and whatnot. But we'll see. We'll see. Well, that's pretty much my news. I think I've got gabbed on for way too long. 809 seconds. Ooh, I'm so excited. Harry Potter comes on. Comes out tonight. And I really want to go. I had plans to go down to Lemon Grove with my friend David to go and see it. But, um... That didn't work out so well, so I might see it here locally at midnight, which will be awesome. But I don't have anyone to go with, so I'm kind of kind of sad about that. Harry, get out of the way. No, that way. Thank you. No, the other way. Just sit there, all right? Jeez. But, um, yeah, I stayed up until 2 o'clock this morning reading the sixth one, um, Half-Blood Prince. And that wasn't as great as the fifth one, but um, someone ruined it for me. And one of the nano chat people uh, spouted out the end of the book in the chat room, and I hadn't read it yet. And so I knew what was going to happen. I knew who was going to die, and it was. I, I went into it like what happens. I went into it knowing what was going to happen. Like, when you go and see Titanic, you knew the boat was going to sink. And so I was rather disappointed at that. So I spent the entire book waiting for this person to drop dead, as opposed to being really surprised and emotional when it happened. So, yeah. So I think I'll take Harry Otter with me to see Harry Potter.